Hi boys and girls, today we're moving on to a new topic, coordinate graphing. So we have some new vocabulary words that I would like you to write in section two of your homework sheet and we'll go over them right now. Our first word is coordinate plane and that's just a fancy word for your grid system that you've been exposed to in earlier grades as well. Our next word is the word ordered pair. What ordered pair is, it's, it's a set of numbers used to describe the location on a coordinate plane. So for example, three, four, or three comma four, wherever you would plot that point, that ordered pair would let you know where to put that point. Our next word is the word origin. Origin means the beginning. So for our grid system, for our coordinate plane, the location of zero, zero, right here in the corner, would basically be the beginning of our grid system. The x-axis, x-axis, is referring to your horizontal number line, so the number that is going horizontally on your grid. The y-axis refers to the vertical number line, so the straight line going up and down on your grid. So please copy these words into box number two of your homework sheet. All right, I like to use this example often with my students to help them remember which number comes first when, when graphing their coordinates using their ordered pairs. So I like you to think of the example of an airplane. Think of how an airplane takes off. First, it must travel straight on the runway and, and gain speed until it takes off up into the air. And that's how I like you to remember which number you need to do first because a lot of times people go up first and then over but you need to remember just like an airplane travels you need to go horizontally first to gain your speed and then you may go up so using this as our example let's try to graph these ordered pairs on our grid system our first coordinate pair is 0 2 so using our airplane example of going horizontally and then vertically my first number is zero so I'm gonna be right on this line here I don't really have to go anywhere for this particular one and then I go up two so one two so zero two would look like this on my coordinate plane let's try the next one three two so using my same example of going horizontally first and then up vertically I'm going to go over one, two, three, and up one, two. So this would be what three, two would look like on a coordinate grid. My next, next example is two, three. So again, I'm going to go horizontally first over two spaces and up three spaces. So two, three would be located right here on my coordinate grid. And finally, I have six, five. So I go horizontally just like an airplane would first, and then I go up five. And here is what six five would look like. Pretty simple, as long as you remember your little airplane rule and example. All right, let's give you some examples to try on your own. On your homework sheet, I would like you to graph the ordered pairs, and I've given you a piece of grid paper to use for this evening's homework as well. So please create and label your grid and graph the following points on your graph. And there is a shape that will be formed after you connect the lines and connect the dots of those grids. So after you've plotted your points, I would like you to describe the shape that you see. And secondly, I would like you to create your own shape or design on grid paper and list the ordered pairs that you used to create it. And that'll be your second part of your homework this evening. So your points will be 3, 1, 2, 4, 8, 4, and 9, 1. And you need to describe the shape that you see after graphing those points. And then don't forget to create your very own shape on your grid paper and list the ordered pairs you used to create. And as always, if you see still have questions, comments, or strategies that you use to solve today's problem, please make sure to include those in box number four of your homework sheet, and we'll discuss them in class tomorrow. You've been flipped with Mrs. Monopo.